Good evening. We invite you to watch the English news on Essential Television Channel of Brunei Province to tightly manage and create a fair competitive environment in the e-commerce sector. The Ministry of Industry and Trade has now implemented Level 4 public services to manage e-commerce businesses through the National E-Commerce Management System at online.gov.vn. In an effort to implement strategies and activities to promote the development of e-commerce and digital economy, the Ministry of Industry and Trade aims to achieve an e-commerce revenue of $35 billion US dollar, have 55% of population engaged in online shopping, and ensure 50% of transactions are cashless by 2025. According to the government resolution, the goal is for Vietnam digital economy to contribute 20% to the national GDP by 2025. In particular, e-commerce is considered one of the important pillars contributing to a strong development of Vietnam's digital economy. To date, 17 effective free trade agreements FTAs, have helped Vietnam connect with nearly 60 markets. As a result, the total export turnover to this market accounts for about 65% of the country's total export turnover. This is a significant advantage for Vietnamese goods compared to many other countries. However, this is merely a passport to enter these markets. The effective utilization of these assets depends on the capacity of enterprises and local support during implementation. Vietnam's commitment to opening up under FDAs is one thing, but exploring these opportunities is another. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade, most local solutions still focus on initial propaganda and support. The proportion of export to FDA market in some places is less than 10%. After the first three to four years of implementation, Vietnamese goods have concurrent major demanding markets. However, to sustain long-term success and brand positioning, there is a need for quicker and stronger strong formations. Meanwhile, most small and medium-sized enterprises still participate in processing stages, or export raw materials and semi-finished products. On June 10th, the Working Group of Night Province evaluated the results of the implementation of the project, Sustainable Development Economic Model for Domnai. The project is chaired by Ho Chi Minh National Academy of Politics with Associate Professor Dr. Bu Feng Huynh as the project leader. The objective of the project is to objectively and scientifically evaluate the achievements of Domnai's economic model from 2008 to 2022, as well as its limitation from perspective of sustainable development. At the same time, it's aimed to propose solutions to innovate Domnai's economic model for sustainable development based on science and technology and innovation until 2030 with a vision to 2045. According to a presentation by the Edmonton Unit, the researchers are striving to follow the register schedule and will complete the project by the end of 2024. However, the implementation process has encountered certain obstacles regarding procedures and timeline for carrying out the subtopics within the project. Due to difficulty in surveying businesses, the project leaders proposed reducing the number of survey questionnaires from 800 to 500. Regarding this proposal, Vice Chairman of the Nam Provincial Post Committee, Nguyen Thi Huang, stated that the research team should carefully consider this as the content needs to be consulted and agreed urban by the members of the Provincial Scientific Council. Furthermore, we will reduce the number of our survey questionnaires meet the quality requirements of the research according to project criteria. Additionally, the research task file includes the organization of two seminars and one scientific conference. The leaders of the province request that the project leader closely coordinate with the Department of Planning and Investment and Department of Science and Technology to ensure that the seminars and conference are organized seriously in the accordance with the directive of the Provincial Party Committee. 
They aim to have a comprehensive research report on project by July to present to the provincial party committee for review and feedback before finalizing. On June 10, the United Nations Security Council passed its first resolution supporting the ceasefire plan, aiming to end eighth month war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. The resolution was drafted by the U.S. Support the ceasefire plan announced by President Joe Biden on May 31st. The resolution was passed with an overwhelming consensus of 14 out of 15 countries, with Russia abstaining. The resolution supports the three phase ceasefire plan in Gaza. Phase 1 involves a six week ceasefire to facilitate a prisoner hostage exchange. Phase 2 includes a permanent ceasefire and release of remaining hostages. Phase 3 involves the reconstruction of the Gaza Strip. The resolution calls on Israel and Hamas to fully eliminate the provision without delay and without condition. The U.S. say Israel had approved the plan. Hamas then quickly welcomed the resolution and said it was willing to cooperate and participate in negotiations to eliminate the agreement. Speaking of vote, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield said the U.S. Egypt and Qatar will continue to work to ensure the Hamas participates in the agreement constructively. The U.S. helps ensure that Israel will also strictly comply after Hamas accepts the agreement. One day after European Parliament elections, the Secretary General of the Center Right European People's Party (EPP), the majority force in the Parliament, announced that the EPP would not seek to reach a formal agreement with Ms. Georgia Meloni, Italian Prime Minister, and her far-right European Conservatives and Reformers ECR groups. Poll show EPP won 186 seats, far surpassing the 135 seats of Socialist and Democrats group and the 79 seats of Liberal Renew Europe Party. Mr. Tanasin Pakolas, EPP Secretary General, said the EPP will seek to gain a majority in European Parliament with friends and allies we have worked with before, such as Solid Party, the Liberal Party, and hopefully also the Green Party. He noted, members of Miss Georgia Milne's group may want to vote for us, but I do not see any formal agreements beyond that. 27 leaders of EU countries are expected to meet on June 17 and 27 to discuss the allocation of top jobs where von der Leyen's re-election effort will be brought to the negotiation table. You have just watched the English News on Essential Television Channel of the province. Goodbye and see you again.